Friction, often viewed as a mere obstacle to smooth movement, is an unseen force that's much more complex and intriguing. This ubiquitous phenomenon, which we experience every day when we walk, write, or even just open a door, has scientific implications that go far beyond these mundane activities. In our quest for knowledge, we continually unearth new aspects of this ordinary yet extraordinary force. A recent study from the Institute of Science and Technology, Austria, has shed light on a fascinating aspect of friction, one that plays a pivotal role in the early stages of life. The study delves into the world of sea squirt oocytes, or egg cells. Now, you might be wondering why sea squirts? Well, these marine organisms are used as models for understanding vertebrate development due to their striking similarities with humans. And it is within these tiny oocytes that the magic of friction unfolds. These oocytes harness internal friction to undergo developmental changes after conception. It's almost like building a house, but instead of bricks and mortar, they use friction forces to reshape and reorganize themselves. And this isn't just any reshaping. It leads to the formation of a bell-like protrusion called the contraction pole, a crucial component in the next stages of development. This fascinating process involves the actomyosin cortex, a dynamic structure beneath the cell membrane, and the myoplasm, a layer in the lower region of the egg cell. The actomyosin cortex contracts and flows during these initial changes in cell shape, while the myoplasm behaves like a stretchy solid and forms buckles due to friction forces. The cessation of actomyosin movement leads to the expansion of the contraction pole as the buckles resolve into a bump. All of this intricate process is orchestrated by the invisible yet powerful force of friction. This study provides an insightful glimpse into the role of friction forces in shaping and forming an evolving organism. However, as with any scientific endeavor, further research is needed to understand the specific role of friction in embryonic development. Perhaps it's time we give friction the recognition it truly deserves. Now let's dive into the deep sea and meet the sea squirts. Also known as ascidians, these fascinating marine creatures bear more resemblance to us than you might think. While their tubular bodies and sticky, sessile lifestyle might seem alien, they share a common ancestor with humans and, in fact, all vertebrates. This makes them invaluable models for understanding vertebrate development. It's at this juncture that we encounter an intriguing study from the Institute of Science and Technology, Austria. This study dives deep into the world of sea squirts, specifically their oocytes or immature egg cells. It's here that a subtle and often overlooked force comes into play. Friction. This isn't the friction of two surfaces rubbing together, but rather an internal friction that occurs within the oocytes themselves. After conception, the oocytes undergo a series of developmental changes. It's a beautifully choreographed ballet of cellular reorganization, and it's here that friction forces take center stage. Just as a sculptor molds clay, these friction forces reshape and reorganize the oocytes, playing an essential role in their development. But what's truly fascinating is the nature of this friction. It's not a force exerted from the outside, but an inherent property of the cellular material itself. The actomyosin cortex, a dynamic structure beneath the cell membrane, contracts and flows, while the myoplasm, a layer in the lower region of the egg cell, behaves like a stretchy solid, forming buckles due to these friction forces. This study provides an enlightening glimpse into the role of friction forces in shaping and forming an evolving organism. However, the mystery remains. We need to dive deeper to understand the specific role of friction in embryonic development. Who knew that something as simple as friction could play such a crucial role in life's inception? Let's delve deeper into the science behind this phenomenon. We're now going to focus on an intriguing structure known as the actomyosin cortex. Imagine it as a dynamic framework nestled just beneath the cell membrane. This structure, believe it or not, is a hive of activity during the early stages of cell transformation. Now, what makes the actomyosin cortex truly fascinating is its contractile nature. As the cell begins to change, the actomyosin cortex contracts initiating a flow-like movement. It's as if it's orchestrating a well-rehearsed ballet, its movements precise and purposeful. But what drives this flow, you ask? The answer is friction, 
Yes, the same force that we encounter when we rub our hands together or slide down a slide. In this microscopic setting, friction forces play an integral role. They essentially guide the actomyosin cortex in its contractile dance, giving it direction and momentum. This friction-driven flow of the actomyosin cortex is what initiates the initial changes in cell shape. It's what sets the stage for the cell to transform and evolve, paving the way for the development of a new organism. It's worth noting that this process isn't just relevant to sea squirts. The actomyosin cortex is a universal feature in many cells, making its function and the role of friction forces in its movement a topic of broad interest. So next time you experience friction, remember it's not just a force that slows you down or generates heat. It's a fundamental force of nature that's hard at work in the tiniest corners of life, shaping and molding cells. It's fascinating how the unseen force of friction is at work even at the cellular level. But the actomyosin cortex isn't the only player in this game. There's another key character that takes center stage in this intricate ballet of life's inception. Meet the myoplasm, sitting like a hidden gem in the lower region of the egg cell. You see, the myoplasm is no ordinary layer. It behaves quite like a stretchy solid forming buckles under the influence of friction forces. These aren't the buckles you might find on a belt or a shoe, but rather microscopic deformations that occur within the myoplasm under the pressure of friction. Now, picture this. As the actomyosin cortex contracts and flows, making the initial changes in cell shape, the myoplasm reacts to these movements it's like a dance where one partner responds to the other's lead, creating a beautiful and complex pattern of life in motion. But what comes next is truly fascinating. As the actomyosin cortex's movement ceases, the buckles in the myoplasm start to resolve into a bump. This bump is no random formation. It's the beginning of a bell-like protrusion that we call the contraction pole. The contraction pole is like the first visible sign of the sea squirt oocyte's journey towards development. As the myoplasm's buckles resolve into this bump, the contraction pole expands. It's like watching a flower bloom in slow motion, a beautiful manifestation of life's beginnings. But here's the interesting part. The creation and expansion of the contraction pole are all influenced by friction forces. Yes, the same friction that you experience when you rub your hands together or slide down a slide. This seemingly ordinary force plays a crucial role in the extraordinary process of life's formation. The role of friction forces in shaping and forming an evolving organism is indeed a revelation. It's like discovering a new choreographer guiding the dance of life, a force that was always there, but only now recognized for its significance. So what does this all mean? Let's distill it down. This study has shone a light on an unseen force shaping life, friction. In the microscopic world of sea squirt oocytes, friction forces are at play, reshaping and reorganizing the cell after fertilization. This is seen in the formation of a unique structure, the contraction pole, a bell-like protrusion that expands as the actomyosin cortex contracts and flows. The myoplasm, a layer in the lower region of the egg cell, reacts to these changes. It behaves like a stretchy solid, forming buckles due to the friction forces. When the actomyosin movement ceases, these buckles resolve into the bump of the contraction pole. These findings offer a new perspective on how life forms and sea squirts, as models for understanding vertebrate development, 